What's good, SAFC family? Brian Colby here with my brother and one of the best defenders in the USL, Mitch Tainer. Sends it towards the top of the six. Under the back side, for a goal. One nil, SAFC. Mitch Tainer does it again. You just got a very, very big honor. 200 appearances in the USL. Yeah. Just got announced. How do you feel, man? What is knowing that you did something like that and made such a big accomplishment? What does that do for you? Yeah, it's uh, it's been a long road. I think this is my my eighth year, my my third or fourth team. So it, it's been a grind, man. Pro sports is not is not easy. You know, mm -hmm. we people come here and they see us play in this amazing stadium and you know think life is is all good always here. You know, it's it's amazing to be a pro, but. It takes a lot more than that and it takes a lot of consistency. So to get 200 games and to do it in front of our home crowd was amazing. And all, all we needed was the win, but you know, we're still in a good spot and, and pushing for more. And man, 200 games, man, the longevity it takes to accomplish something like that. A lot of things gotta go right. What is your mentality? What do you do to be able to last so long? So when other people are watching, they say, "Yo, how do I get 200 games like Mitch?" Yeah, man, I think you just got you just got to keep going. Yeah. You know, there are going to be people who who love you or hate you, and you got to just accept that. You know, you're not going to please everybody. You're not going to please every coach you play for. You're not going to, you know, be amazing every game or every season. But it's about adding up those good experiences, putting more credit in your bank, and and working hard and, and just staying consistent, taking care of your body, being surrounded with with the right people in the right environment to help you succeed and and to give you the opportunity to, to make 200 appearances. And, and you talk about your environment. You know, I mentioned we did this. You were one of the first people I did this with. Your environment's changed a lot since we did it last. Mm -hmm. You know, you have won a championship. But more importantly, you've gotten married, you've gotten a home, you're growing into a man. How has those changes and those developments in your life affected you not only as a man, but as an athlete on this field? Yeah, I mean, I think when you take those steps, you know, with getting married, getting a house, winning a championship at all, you know, it ma makes you more disciplined because mm -hmm. now I'm with my wife and when we decided to get married and engaged, you know, there's a lot more that's, that's on the line. You know, I need to, to be a really good husband. I need to be a solid person, a solid man for her. And that discipline starts with training every day. Mm -hmm. Me getting up, working my ass off in training, working my ass off on Saturday nights, sacrificing my Friday nights, her sacrificing her, her Friday nights. Um, so again, surrounding yourself with people who have a common goal, a girl that's gonna chase the dream with you, be, be all in, I think that's super huge. Um, and to have that experience of winning the championship last year and have, having my wife there and buying the house here and really buying into where you're at, I think it gives you a lot of confidence moving forward. Number one, boy, let's go, what I tell you? San Antonio and this fan base has really welcomed you in yeah. and made this home for you. Talk about San Antonio, your love for it, and also the fans that have made you feel so welcome here. Yeah, and no, I, I feel like the first time I stepped foot in San Antonio, I was like, okay, this is this is where I'm supposed to be right now. This is this is my home. I feel like a San Antonian. I, I love the people. I love seeing everyone here in the crowd. I love the culture. It's so diverse. There's great food, great people, great events here to do, and we're really supported by the Spurs and. The whole city, really. I mean, I remember in 2020 when no one was allowed in the stands and the place was dead. And then, you know, halfway through 2021, when I came back, it was packed. And to see that support from the city and for us to be able to reciprocate that and give our all on the field for them, it, it's uh, it's been a dream come true. And you guys definitely give your all on the field. I think one of the favorite things, at least for me, that I watch from you, I'm sure the fans of it as well, is your aggression, man. You always make sure that the opponent feels you, especially on this home field. What about that aggression is so pivotal for this team and for this defense? Because you're really that, like almost that muscle for the defense. Talk about that. Yeah, I mean, I think being a defender, you know, you need to understand that if they score, that's it, it's on you most of the time. And I don't, I don't want anyone thinking they're better than me or they got one over me. So I think really ingraining that into my mind and really taking pride in defense and basically who I am as a person, I have a lot of pride for myself and I want to be the best in my position. I want to be the best in every action. So. I think everyone feels that chip on the field with us. With me personally, I think the fans feel that chip. So for me to really be able to express my personality and bring that out and have it lead into other guys on the field and have the fans react to it the way that they do, it gives us a huge boost. And I think it gives us an advantage any way you look at it. Mm -hmm. And knowing you as well as I do, I know a lot of that personality comes from a very important lady in your life. We <laughs> talked about your wife, but there's another important lady in your life that you love very, very much, your mother. For those that don't know, talk about what your mom has done, not only for your career, but for your life, for these developments that you've made as a man. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I was, I was talking about this with my wife. Like my mom has been a rock for me my whole life. I was not an easy child growing up. I acted now how I am <laughs> as I was a kid. My mom is exactly like me as well. So her and I had a really special bond and she never gave up on me. Always went to bat for me, sticking up for me. 
And I think that's where I get that fight, you know, that never say die attitude and, you know, she's going to take care of her kin. And I feel the same way on the field. I feel like these are my, my real brothers, you know, and I want to take care of them and stick up for them every way I can. And um, a lot of my work ethic has come from her and also my dad too. My dad, you know, going back to the beginning of the conversation about getting married and buying a house, you have to be more reliable and more disciplined. My dad drove to work an hour and a half every day, wow. each way, got up at 6 a.m., never complained, drove home an hour and a half, then would drive me an hour and a half into Boston for training with the Revs Academy an hour and a half back. So, um, so I've learned so much from both of them. But yeah, my mom and I, we're, we're two peas in a pod, and it, it's kind of funny. We look alike, we act alike, and we're, you know, all energy. Hey, man, well, I have no doubt your parents are very, very proud of you and all the things you've accomplished. But we got more things to accomplish, yeah. man. We are on a playoff push now, man. The playoffs is right around the corner. Look at that camera right there and tell the fans why they should be so excited for this playoff push you guys are about to have and why they should keep Toyota Field rocking until we get there. Yeah, Toyota Field is Toyota Field because of you guys. We see it right up there, it's it's death ground and that's what you guys make it. Uh, we, we've had a decent year, more ups and downs this year than last year, but it's easy to be a mentality monster when things are going right. But you know, when things are going wrong, that's where, where you see what you're made of. The real mentality monster comes out. We need y'all, we got about eight games left and, and we're going, going for it all again this year. There's nothing less. Hey, SAC family, you heard it here first. Brian Colbert walking the field here with my brother, Mitch Tanner.